fish in it. Damn, but all of them are big old fat, meaty, pound of three quarter fish. Good morning everybody I'm back again with a brand new video of 2023 kind of excited i don't even sit down kind of dress y'all personally so you know I've, I've talked to several of y'all about this and i've made mention about this but y'all 2022 just wasn't my year you know i had some good showings had a good tournament at the tbf uh, national semis but in the grand scheme of things i just didn't have a lot of fun last year um this year's gonna be different, coming in with a positive attitude. I'm here on Lake DeGray right now. I am practicing for the Anvil Jaw tournament coming up here in about a month. Uh, I don't have a lot of winter time on this lake, but I know there's some studs out here, so I gotta try to find a couple. So I appreciate y'all for tuning along. If you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. And hey, I hope you enjoy the content for today. So take care. There it is, that's a big one. Yes. <laughs> I just live scoped that fish. <laughs> big old Kentucky. I just live scoped a big old Kentucky on an A-Rig. <laughs> How about that? A big one too. I just live scoped him in 24 foot of water. First fish of the year. We gotta get a picture of him. We gotta get a picture. About a pound three quarter. So that is called cutting somebody off. That is definitely not nice, <laughs> but. I'm not in any tournament, so I don't care. That man might be in a high stakes tournament for all I know. First fish of the year was a good Kentucky. The second fish of the year is a bitty Kentucky. But still a fish. needs a good cleaning is what it needs. If I get this backlash out, I'm going to be thoroughly impressed. It's coming. I don't know how in the world I got this sucker out.
second keeper I caught today was on a dang Avery. Big old crappie. Look at that sucker right there. <laughs> Just live scoped a crappie. Caught it on an A rig. Gonna take an outro here so y'all saw what happened uh today wasn't the best fishing day but you know it's still blessed to be on the water had fun uh figured out oh i got a spider web or something hanging up from my hat uh figured out how to catch a few fish on a rig kind of excited about that uh truthfully this is the most live scoping i have ever done so what y'all saw today was actually me looking for fish I came out with the mentality that that's what I wanted to do today. That was exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm really excited that I got that opportunity. Um, wish that we could have caught more fish, but I mean, that's just part of it. So we'll get home. We'll take a good breather, regroup, get back out here in, I don't know, two weeks, something like that, and uh, see if we can expand a little bit on what we found. Hopefully there's a few fish moved up uh water temp today was about 51 degrees which is kind of cool i'm hoping that by mid to late january water temp is about 55 or so um, i'm hoping it doesn't go backwards i think these fish are still feeling the full effect of that big nor'easter front we had come through the other day but anyhow thank y'all for following along again like i said in the first if you don't mind hit that subscribe button uh give this video a like and uh if you got some pins, drop them for me. I'll come fish them on the gray. I just, I don't know the lake that well and everything looks the same and what looks good, I don't catch fish on and what looks like trash, I tend to catch fish on. So, just a confusing lake to me. But it's all part of the fun of figuring it out. So, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Like always, y'all keep chugging.